So in the realm of dating and relationships, things of that nature, I'm no expert, but I can definitely say that there are times where we have to assess, especially when things are rocky and people are kind of unsure of what's going on. We have to assess between the difference. Are, are we going through confusion or are we going through cruelty? Confusion is a legitimate search and want to understand it, what's going on in my relationship. Am I working on it? Am I working to understand it? Am I working towards a solution to salvage it and repair it and heal and move on in it? Cruelty is knowing that you are most likely done and have really no interest, but possibly it's the, the Tarzan effect. Like you don't let go of one branch until another comes along. So a lot of times people hold on to a person until another person comes along or something better comes along. And that, that in my estimation, is cruel. Uh, if we are done with things, especially as adults, we should certainly have the adulthood you know, within us to be able to tell somebody, I'm just not interested anymore, and this is, this is where I'm going. But a lot of times, people don't mature that way, and they don't have those sort of skills, those sort of communication skills, those sort of coping skills to understand that, one, they took part in whatever caused the demise of their current relationship, and two, it's extremely selfish to try to move on without letting the other person know just for the sake of it working, say, with like a safety net. Well, I don't want to move on quite yet because I might be by myself for a couple months, and that means I don't have somebody to either, you know, occupy my time, entertain me, have sex with me, um, pay for things. You just never know what that means. Um, so there's a cruelty to that. Now, a lot of times we have to look at ourselves. It's not always an external source. Most of the time, as a matter of fact, it, it's always going to start from the inside. So we have to not be confused or not tr treat ourselves cruelly by sometimes staying in these situations. Sometimes if you have a notion that that's what this person is doing or that's what they're up to, you can certainly clear up the confusion by just bringing it straight to them. Again, those communication skills are important to be able to speak to somebody transparently, directly, and ask questions and really assess those answers to clear up that confusion. If they're dancing around the topic or they're not giving you direct answers, if you ask for a yes or no answer and they still try to go into you know, a whole explanation, there's a lot of dancing going on there and you really should take a look at that carefully. The other part is bounce that off of your people. You know, your brothers, your friends, you know, people who are close to you, who you really trust. And, and, you know, get an assessment on, you know, what am I missing? Because the confusion can be because we're in it. And a lot of times it takes somebody who's just outside of it to say, dude, this is not it. You know, um, I would say, you know, really be careful. But how often do we listen if our heart and our emotions are really invested in it? So this is where a little bit of stoicism and a lot of logic are our best friends when it comes to these relationships. Cruelty is just by staying in it, and that's being cruel to ourselves and, in part, cruel to the other person. So you can balance this either way. You might be the person who's, you know, leading the person on just until something comes along. That's cruel in itself. If you're staying and you think that they're doing that or you know, some in some cases, we know that's what they're doing, you're being cruel to yourself. Don't be confused in either case. Be very clear. Speak very clear and listen very clearly. Don't listen to argue. Don't listen to talk over the person. Don't listen to try to make your point be a better point. We, we all do that. We get competitive when our emotions are on the line and when we're talking about our relationships, whether we are trying to save them or end them, either way. And if we know that they're over and we're trying to end them, just walk away. That's the greatest way to get rid of the confusion and not be cruel. You don't have to say anything cruel and you, don't, you possibly don't have to hear something cruel. Those are just my thoughts. But what's your opinion on this? What's your ace up the sleeve? Your advice, comment, experience? Leave it in the chat. I'd love to hear about it. I'm sure there's a lot of people who just are going through some things when it comes to relationships. And you know, a lot of times it doesn't even have to be like an intimate relationship with a partner. It could be your relationship at your job. It could be a relationship with family. It could be a relationship sometimes with your children or whatever. Whatever conflicts us sometimes when we're dealing with people other than ourselves, and actually sometimes it can be ourselves. We can confuse and be very cruel to ourselves more often than not, more than other people can be to us. So there is that as well. So again, in any of those planes, what is your what what's your thoughts on this? I would love to hear from you guys. As always, uh, subscriptions to the channel are free. 
free is a good thing in this economy and feel free to pass this on to family and friends who might enjoy the content as well. And as always, we'll see you guys soon. Peace, love, unity, solidarity.